chemical clock. We are about to demonstrate how a quite complicated solution changes colour in a repetitive way, thus functioning as a chemical clock. The chemical reaction responsible for these fairly even colour rotations is known as the belousov zabutinsky reaction. We will need solution A, which contains sulfuric acid and potassium bromate, solution B, which contains potassium bromide, solution C, which contains malonic acid, solution D, which contains phenanthrolene and ferrous sulfate heptahydrate. Glass, plate, volumetric tube and drop glasses. We mix 18 milliliters of solution A. One point five milliliters of solution B, three milliliters of solution C. and 1.5 milliliters of solution D. We gently stir and wait. At the beginning, the solution seems turbid. We then notice that it becomes clear and red in color. A swift change to blue follows, and immediately the solution becomes red again. That color rotation goes on for quite some time. It becomes much more fascinating if we pour the solution into a shallow plate. We can see the formation of homocentric circles that then dissolve while the color rotation keeps on going. This reaction is a chemical seesaw between red and blue that stays longer on the red side. Femtochemistry, the science that studies chemical reactions in extremely short periods of time, called femtotime, is challenged to solve the mystery. <laughs> 